So now with um, with the uh, geometry checks and everything behind me, uh, one of the th couple of things I'm doing right now is I'm working on the lube system. This mill came with dessert fittings, and unfortunately that was one of the problems. Somebody had actually greased this thing. So uh, I want to put a uh, like a single shot system on it, so I'm working through that. Uh, pricing bijure stuff, which is um, obviously the good stuff, and uh, uh, it's a bit pricey. So I'm trying to minimize the amount of pieces I've got to buy to get a good loop system. So, anyways, um, and the other thing that I wanted to do was I've been trying to figure out how to um, set up the yoke. And I had uh, I had put the screw in, and I was trying to figure out how to measure side end to end and see what's going on. And then it kind of hit me that this face here on the yoke and the the ninety degree face on the bottom are machined. And I'm pretty sure as they machine these yokes that uh, that would be the the face that they would run the bores perpendicular to, and then. Obviously, the brass nuts, if they're cylindrical, they would end up being in line with everything, or perpendicular to this face. So, um, I thought it was a pretty good way to set this up. And, um, anyway, so that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do here. And right now, I've just swept this once here, and it's about... That's about eight or nine thou out across, I don't know, five and a half, six inches there. So I'm just going to do some adjusting here and then see what we can get. So I think this end here was light. So I'm going to leave this corner here maybe just a bit snug. So now I took half that up, so I'm pretty sure if I zero that out again and sweep it the other way, we should be good. So it looks like we still got about well, three thou there. Eventually I'll get it. So that's about a half a thou over six inches there. And there's no dowels at this point in here. And I think what I'm going to do is when I reassemble the whole bridge port, I'm going to, I'm going to use this process uh, to set this up and then without the table on I'll use the spindle and uh, drill 
for the dowels to go down through here once I get it locked in position. And then the other thing I have to check is this is um, this is running true. I just have to make sure that it's positioned longitudinally here in the saddle is right. Um, yeah, I've got to I've got to make sure this position is right for the X the in and out screw. Yeah, so hopefully uh, if anybody out there is uh, setting up a yoke on a bridge port, I thought this was a, a pretty good uh, way to make sure that the uh, uh, the bore is perpendicular to the uh, saddle movement here. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to work.